What's up guys, it's Brandon from KDMR Music. Here we give out real tips to help artists make real progress in their music careers. And so we went live on our Facebook page last Friday and so I wanted to share the broadcast with you. Uh, we shared five ways uh, to market your music and get it out in front of new audiences. We went really in depth, so if you've got about 20 minutes, take some time to watch this video. You'll learn a lot and I'm excited to share it with you. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so if I did that right, we are live right now. Um, just a couple minutes early. I want to give people some time to get in here. Uh, if you're just joining us on the replay, thank you. Um, and bear with me. I'm like the captain of the Starship Enterprise right now. But if I'm doing this right, uh, my name should pop up right now. And... Um, so let me introduce myself. My name is Brandon Jackson. I am the founder of KDMR Music. Um, I help artists, independent artists specifically, uh, to build their careers, build sustainable careers, and market themselves, and make more money with their music. Um, so today, I've created a short presentation of how five different ways you can market your music and get more fans. Um, so again, if you're joining us on the replay, thank you. If you are live, I'm going to be doing a question and answer session right after I'm finished with these uh, few slides that I've got. Um, so go ahead and drop your questions in the comments as the video goes on. If the comment pertains to what I'm saying at the moment, I'll most likely stop what I'm doing and answer that question. Uh, but if not, I'm going to try to hold most of the questions to the end uh, just for the sake of brevity and so I'm not boring people. Um, so. With that said, there's like a five to seven second delay, as far as I understand. So this could be awkward or not. Um, so give me just a few seconds. I'm going to share this across our social pages and um, we'll be ready to go. All right. So again, uh, really brief introduction. Uh, I'm Brandon Jackson. I'm the founder of KDMR Music. Uh, just a little bit about me. Uh, I've got my start in the music business uh, about six years ago. Uh, my first formal job uh, was as a marketing and operations intern at a small indie label um, based out of North Carolina. Uh, that label was home to Grammy Award winning artists uh, and producers. Uh, so that's where I first kind of cut my chops in music marketing. Uh, since then, I've become an artist manager. I've managed the careers of five different artists. Um, and I also act as a consultant. Um, so long story short, I talk about music marketing a lot and um, I put these things into practice a lot. So I just want to give you five really easy ways that you can get your music out in front of people. The worst thing that happens a lot is like you slave away, you're making your music, you get it mixed, you get it mastered, and then you put it up on SoundCloud or iTunes or wherever you put it and everything dies no one listens you're stuck at like 20 plays forever so i'm going to give you five really easy ways or just some things to think about as far as how you can get your music in front of new people and um you know get more people to listen to you to follow you to become fans of your work and to get you more money so without further ado i've got some slides if i did this right they should be on the screen right now looks like they are so um, the first way, well, before we can get into the different ways to market your music, let's talk about what music marketing is. Um, so the textbook definition of marketing uh, is the process through which goods and services move from a concept or an idea in your head to the customer's hands. And so in marketing, we talk about the four P's. Um, so that's the product, which in this case, the product is always going to be your music. Uh, we talk about the price. How much are you going to charge for your music? The place, uh, which really means the distribution channel. How you're going to get your music to your customer, whether that's iTunes or SoundCloud or Spotify. And then the last P is promotion. What's the promotional strategy that you're going to employ to get more customers to take your music from you? Um, so. 
For the sense or for the case of today's presentation, we're really only going to be focused on that last part. Um, how are you promoting your music? So let's get into a pretty easy way to promote your music. The first way is live shows. So live shows are the most effective way to promote your music to new audiences because not only do they get to hear your music, but they get to see you, they get to put a face with the voice that they're hearing, um, and an audience, you can really win an audience over, even if your music isn't that good, if you perform it well or you present yourself well. So, um, quick story, and I'm gonna flip back so that you know I'm really here. Um, quick story, I manage an artist named Kane, and Kane's music is really uh, politically aware, he talks a lot about um, consciousness. For example, he has a song called Black Panther Party. So when you see some of his song titles on paper, it can be like, eh, sounds like this guy's gonna be preaching at me. I don't know if I wanna be involved. But a great tool for Kane has been his live shows. So what we do is we go to different showcases and open mics and he performs and by the time he's done performing, uh, when I'm working the merch table, table, people are like flocking to me. It is the craziest thing. So live shows are a great way to win over an audience. So let's talk a little bit about that. So a live show can be an open mic, can be a showcase, uh, it can be you opening for a local artist in your community or opening for more mainstream acts. Uh, the key to a good live show is, uh, you know, you don't want to, perform over your vocals, uh, you want to present yourself well, you want to talk clearly, you want to speak calmly, and most of all, you want to really get the emotion behind your music. Um, so you've got to be well rehearsed, you've got to know your chops, and it's got to like really kind of flow out of you, to be honest. Um, but a great way to start is to just kind of start from the top and work your way to the bottom. Uh, when you first start out, you're going to be doing a lot of open mics, a lot of showcases, um, and those are really designed for you to learn how to perform. And so as you continue doing those, you're going to start building relationships with the venue owners and the promoters in the area, and they're going to know that you're a great performer, but you're also going to be building an audience. And so the more people that you can get to come see you perform, the better off you're going to be. Because these venue owners, they want butts in seats. That's the name of the game. They want people in their bar, in their club, to buy drinks, to buy food, to, for, to get more money for the establishment. So if you put on a good show, you're going to be invited to come back more and more. And as you keep coming back, you're going to add more and more people to your list of fans. And as you build those relationships, that's when you can start to pitch yourself to these venue owners, to booking agents, so that you can open for local acts. Um, I'm based in North Carolina. We have a really big uh, independent music scene. And a lot of the artists, they like to work together. They'll put together these shows, and they kind of share their audiences and their fan bases with each other. That's a great way for you to put yourself in front of new people. So opening for local acts is great. And then of course, the last, is to be open for mainstream acts. And so this is when you're at the height of your networking career. You know you know all the venue owners. The venue owners will tell you when there's someone coming to town um, that fits your musical style. They know that you're gonna bring out the local crowd, so they want you there. And it's also a great way for you to cement yourself and to open yourself up to fans of these bigger artists who come to play your local town. So that's the first way to uh, promote your music. And let's get into the second, video marketing. So video is huge. Um, like right now, I'm coming to you on a live video. Um, on all the social media platforms, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on Twitter, video has become the staple. So if you have video, and all these face all these social companies will promote your music to a larger audience without you having to pay them to do it it's also a great way to engage um, people are talking to you you're talking back uh, people can see your face people can get to know your personality and it's a lot better than just a song but it doesn't just have to be your face on videos you can do music videos you can do lyric videos um, 
You can live stream your rehearsals from your band. Uh, you can copy and paste together different behind the scenes footage and put that out. Or, you know, if you want to do something on a more regular basis, then you should vlog. Vlogging is a great way to build a, a consistent audience. You keep coming back week in, week out, and it seems like the, each time you post a new video, more and more people are following you, especially if your music is good. None of this matters if your music isn't good, right? So let's talk about um, another way to market your music. And if you have any questions while I'm going through these, again, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And so um, the third way is collaborations. Um, you can collaborate with artists, you can get sponsorships from different brands, or you can even partner with local shops. So let's talk about the more traditional uh, form of collaboration, which is collaboration between a few different artists. And so, excuse me, again, this really comes down to networking, but in collaborations, um, especially as it pertains to artists, if you have a good relationship with another artist in your community, if you guys make music that ne not necessarily has to be the same as each other, but it complements each other, then it's gonna be great. And so if your music complements each other, that means you have a set of fans over here, this person has a set of fans over there, and you guys can bring your fan bases together and it's really going to help you both build a new audience. You can use that, um, whether that's just releasing songs together, whether you are performing together on stages, uh, whether you guys do different community service projects together, collaborating with other artists is a great way to um, promote your music and put yourself in front of new people. Another way is sponsorships from brands. So sponsorships from brands could be anything from like a really big brand or major corporation like Nike or let's say uh, Budweiser, you can get them to sponsor your tour, um, especially as you build an audience. They're going to want to see there's, that you have a big following. If you have a big enough following, you can use that leverage to use their images on your promotional stuff. Maybe you can get some money from these brands to put on your shows. And of course, when people see that you have sponsors, they're like, wow, that guy's official. He got sponsored by Nike. There must be something good about his music. So that's a great way to put yourself out in front of a new audience, which is what all this is about. And on a smaller scale, you can partner with local shops, whether that's record stores, whether that's uh, the local gas station, or maybe not the gas station, but a great way to partner with local shops is, let's say you have an album release, right? And so something that you want to do with your album is you want to have it available in a store. So you partner with one record shop. Let's say uh, in Raleigh, we have a place called School Kids Records. So let's say you give them 100 CDs on consignment or even 50 CDs on consignment. And then, so now the only place people can get your CD if they want to get the physical copy is at School Kids Records. And so it's great promotion for the record store but it's also a great promotion for you because school kids are gonna wanna say, hey, if you want that new album, you've gotta come to our store to get it. And so it's a symbiotic relationship. And that's the name of the game when it comes to these collaborations. There's gotta be something in it for you and something in it for them. And you can't just be a vulture, just like, oh, give me, give me, give me, give me, and you have nothing to offer. But if you do have something to offer, collaborations are a great, great way to get in front of new people. So let's get into the next slide. The fourth way to market your music or another idea is using social media. Uh, that's going to be like SoundCloud, your Facebooks, uh, Snapchat. There's honestly too many for me to keep up with right now. Um, I love Instagram stories. Those are great. But the name of the game with social media is consistency. Um, I wouldn't say you have to be on all of these different social media platforms. That can be overkill, but select one or two. Um, I will say that I believe every artist should have a Facebook page. And we'll get into that a little bit later as to why you need a Facebook. But Facebook is just, it's the largest social media network, whether it's 
for older people, younger people, or whatever. They have a really huge ad network. They have a lot of tools to help you understand your audience. So Facebook is the, a biggie. But in addition to Facebook, I'd pick maybe one or two other social media platforms. And again, the key to social media is not being so salesy. You know, there's different ways you can get new, get more attention, whether that's using new hashtags. Um, you can see what different topics are relevant um, at a certain point in time. And you kind of talk about what's happening in the community. Talk about what's going on in your tribe. Um, as people are watching you and people are learning your music and, you know, becoming more excited about you, they want to see what you're doing on a daily basis day-to-day -day basis so again those behind the scenes videos uh you know maybe not a whole bunch of pictures of you and your dog unless you know that's a big part of your act um but they want to know who it is behind the mask so everything doesn't have to be super polished but you do want to make sure that it's professional um so with your social media i'd say keep the 80 20 ratio in mind 80 percent of your posts should be just conversational whether you're just engaging with your fans talking to people um, who come across your page and uh, come along on your page to see what you're doing um, thanking people for sharing posts or sharing songs uh, you can share different press clippings and articles or blogs that um, have you up there and then the other 20 percent is promotional so promote that new single promote your video um, promote your upcoming live show these are great things to do on social media and for the most part it's free um, up until this last area so the last way that you're gonna you're going to want to market your music uh, is with paid media now I put this last because the key to paid media and advertising is knowing who your audience is you need to know around what age range your audience is you need to know what kind of music they listen to where they like to listen to their music uh, what other artists they're listening to besides you where they go to get new music what blogs they read and all of these things you really need to have a really complete profile of who it is that you're targeting or is in your ideal audience and with paid media and advertising, whether that's Facebook or Google or even Twitter ads, you can select these different criteria. You can say, I want uh, to target people who are 18 and older and who listen to Drake and J. Cole and Imagine Dragons or Arcade Fire. That's a really big mix. But hey, if those are the people that you know are most likely to like your music, then target those people. And you can very clearly see results. And uh, the great thing about advertising is that you're reaching people that are outside of your normal network. So you're not just relying on your friends or your friend's friends, but you can literally target anyone in the world. And especially with Facebook, it's really easy to see which segments are performing well and which leave something to be desired. So when you're using paid media and advertising, it can be tricky. You could spend a lot of money and get not a lot of results, which is why the targeting is so important. I really can't stress that enough. But as a part of a fully integrated music marketing program, paid media and advertising is great. Absolutely great. And so those are the five ways um, that you can market your music to new audiences. I'm, I want to do a Q&A session, uh, but before we get to the Q&A session, I want to let you know about something that I've been working on. As you know, um, you know, you guys are used to seeing me at least once a week in my on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page and our blog. And those things have kind of been silent lately. And that is because we've been working on something really, really special. And so I'm going to show that to you really quickly before we go into our Q&A because it's not quite ready yet. Uh, but I think it's a perfect time to let you know that it exists. So what I've been working on is called the Music Marketing Guidebook. It's a step-by-step -step marketing guide to teach you how to optimize your web presence, how to find your target audience, um, how to get new press, get blogs to cover your music. Um, we'll talk about how to convert your listeners into fans. Um, and there's so much content 
packed into this ebook to really help you make more money with your music. So you don't feel like you're just doing this as a hobby anymore, but it's a real thing, a real business that you can contribute to that you know about, you know how much money's coming in. You can plan for different expenses. And it's just, it's amazing. The power of really understanding how to market your music. Now, again, we went back to the textbook definition of marketing. Uh, we talked about how it's about the distribution, the promotion, the production of the product, um, how much you're gonna price it. So marketing is really about 75% of your business activities. And so the music marketing guidebook is really designed to take your career to the next level. And so the full course is going to include an ebook. Uh, there's gonna be case studies, video lectures. I've been conducting interviews with different industry insiders and other artists. And so it's really gonna give you the step-by-step -step blueprint to how to market your music to more customers and really to convert those listeners into fans. It's not enough people to just listen to your music anymore. They've gotta have a compelling reason to come back again and again and again. Whenever you release music, whenever you release a new product, whenever you have a limited edition you know, merchandise available, it's really crucial for you to be able to capture those people and convert them into people who are excited about your brand. And so this course is not ready yet. It's gonna be ready uh, about January, but you can sign up for our waiting list right now if you go to musicmarketingguidebook.com. Again, that's musicmarketingguidebook.com and you know, you'll be able to join our waiting list. While you're on the waiting list, you'll get tons and tons of free information uh, articles, case studies, uh, different things that we share with our community to help you get more traction in your music career starting right now. So that's enough about that. Um, looks like, do we have any viewers left? Looks like people dropped off. Um, but I am going to just kind of sit here for a second in case you do have any questions. Uh, let's see if anybody dropped any questions uh, while I was live. Let's see. right let's see so it does not look like we have any questions right now so again if you guys do come up with any questions just drop them in the comment section below uh, I'm gonna repost this video on our YouTube channel as well so you can drop the your comments there as well um, I'm really excited about bringing you this music marketing guidebook and helping you guys build more traction in your careers I can't tell you enough how much fun it is to see someone's ideas go from their head to paper to real life and then come into fruition and you see people paying their bills uh, just off of music and doing something that they love so i'm really excited to bring this program to you um, again if you have any questions at all about anything we talked about about how to implement some of these strategies or anything like that just drop them in the comment section I'll come back, I'll be checking the comments, and I'll hit you up. Um, by the way, if you would like to, uh, or if you're loving this information, go ahead and like our page on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, hit up our blog. There's so many different resources out here that we have for free so that you can really learn to make real progress and real traction in your music career. Um, so that's really all I've got for now. And so... Uh, Till next time, peace out. Now I've got to figure out how to uh, end this. <laughs> Let's see. Oh wait, I know there's that delay, so I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to stop it too soon. Okay. This is terrible. I'm going to end the video now. Peace.